What's up guys, it's James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Dengue Rump and Trigger Happy Havoc last time. We were dismantling Monokuma and now we found a charred, exploding dead body. Classic Dengue Rumpa. And today we're gonna begin investigating it. Oh, okay, fine. We'll focus on the body. I should take a closer look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. But don't worry, I don't plan to touch in the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. There's something next to the body. It's... It's a key. Is this what Kyoko took for Monica So... That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This is anything like that. Then this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near her body. i never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then. <laughs> Makoto, I'm gonna give you one very, a very important task. I huh? see. That key might give you certain ac give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean, so in other words, the Violet, the Data Center, the Headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So, I'm your errand boy now? Oh, really? We have to go to all those rooms? Oh, okay, then fine. First off, let's try out the dorms. Since we saw this whole smorgasbord here. No good, I won't go in. I guess this isn't what the key goes to. On to the next one. On floor four. Floor four, there are two locked doors here. Oh, this one actually fit in. Okay then. It fits. Then this is the key to the data center. I managed to lock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we could get to the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have the key on them? Hm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Look, looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Um... You're asking that question now? <laughs> Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? <laughs> it means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm being used. Okay. Well, I missed filler text from the other room, so I will take my sweet hmm. precious time. <sighs> okay, where is Hina? There she is. Okay. Not a guarantee. What? <laughs> What's your problem? Oh. What the heck? Don't worry, I won't, Toko. Hmm. All right, let's try it. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. In a word, this room was... strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. 
It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here the fear was lurking beneath the surface. This room is feels filled with all kinds of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all, all those monitors on the wall. Look at what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. Th this is... What? This is a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room was to watch us. <laughs> to watch us? Then this room is it's all clear now. The mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's private room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> and I think that sells it. Huh? <laughs> the body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only be in one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. <gasps> then the mastermind is dead? Like, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? For serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before a master could kill him himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Because, I mean, that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was that? But... But if the Mastermind's really dead... Whoa! That means we can finally get out of this hellhole! We gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on! That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? <laughs> if the Mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now... We need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. What? What? Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Hmm. The state of corpse makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt. The Mastermind was murdered. But... Well, why does it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I need. why we need. whoa. Oh, oh, I'm messing up here. That's exactly why I said we, sh we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you! N now you understand, you useless insect. You're banned from talking to Master again. The mastermind's purpose. Why were they killed? This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Hmm. Okay, then let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what? We can't do anything. Just use the fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? The mastermind must have been using the, these to monitor the network. And alter ego. Huh. You may very well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Uh, oh no, not the surveillance camera. Well, there's one even here. There, is there a surveillance camera on the surveillance camera? Watching that one? And it's like an infinite loop? There's a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. <laughs> as long as I have this. Look at the master go. It's like a feast for the eyes. How much is a monthly membership? Okay then. Hmm. 
there are a lot there. Uh, um. Last thing we haven't looked at this TV here. There's nothing to show up on this one. Hmm. Oh, hey, look next to that TV. Isn't that a TV in How about that? It is. It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's the only one that was high def antennas. Wait, so if we could hook up that antenna. We could watch TV. Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Whoa, whoa! Saturday morning heinous here. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Uh, you were all starved for that info from the outside world, huh? Mm. Alright, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? Uh, did he not even do it? What else am I missing here? Oh, the... The obvious elephant in the room, this door with Monokuma on it. The door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? And it's locked. How yeah. Um. How predictable. Let, let's give it a try just in case. No, no good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind said right. So there's nothing. So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about the door of Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Yeah, that's right, the mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be f afraid of anymore. You know? Mmm, hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh? Oh! Oh, ho, 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 ho! What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for y'all. Saturday morning, kitty's out there. I think I got the TV working. Ah. Really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. <sighs> Friggin' idiot mastermind. Oh, you guys need to cut it free from your regrets of the outside world. What the heck? And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time? They could they really thought they could get away with it? Huh? Huh? This hmm. is the feet from com coming from the surveillance camera, monitoring this room, what right? The heck? Oh, that's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird, huh? Mm. You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not just weird, super weird. But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh. Good idea, let's give that a try. Here I went to, through each channel one by one. But on every channel it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually. Oh, I'm not sure, but... Hmm? Huh? Huh? What? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, you freaking bastards. M Monokuma? Huh? Oh, you're supposed to be dead. <laughs> yeah, me dead? Don't be freaking stupid. What? Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Uh of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh, Not even. It's been like a half a day at most. Oh. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> Look at you. Look on your faces right now, sublime. That's why I want to see the moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretend to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> I mean, that's slowly laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. Well, now. And that's that. Ching. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. 
what, what did he say? No, 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 no. What was it? It was minus, right? Okay. I want you all to have way more fun in skilling game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let me no, no. Here. We're supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you so obsessed with getting out of here? How do you got Nick Gaggett? There is no getting out of here. And besides, yeah. this life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't, you won't like to like about life, no matter where you are. Oh, are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, do you mean you're in despair? <laughs> well now. Ooh, I'm pooped from my life, and I guess I'll get to the point right now. The hey, point. Um. You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding some a secret of some kind. The heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it showing up the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how antenna they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? Then, what does that mean? What the heck? Is this playing the signal? Why is it just standing here? Unbelievable. Ah, uh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just Trails, tell you. Kills, chills, kills! This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Extreme! It doesn't matter how many times you say it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, if uh, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I could understand the deeper meaning. Huh? But what? Broadcasting the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It, it can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh no! The camera feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible! Here. That kind of overconfidence is the major weakness in your crisis man management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick and I found. And hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a uh, kind of creepy, but the sound was coming through my own mind, like a boat tossing in the ocean. My mind began to creep and groan. Hey, um. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do out any of that without a reason? It was all uh, for my captive audience, audience, to show them true despair like you've never seen it before. <laughs> I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um. Yeah, there's no way they would have tried to come and rescue us. Actually. What if? They already did, huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV and try to warn you, but who else actually come here? Come here to help? Mm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know them personally, though. So whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how can things come so this far? Well. Yeah that's a secret. That's something you need to tell for you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course! Yeah, duh. There's a little business of... A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Huh? huh? Class trial, do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! I'll leave the next Monokuma file right here. Everyone give it all you got, okay? Pounding excitement. Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck I of a ride. Wait. I can't wait! And then he was gone. The reality was more income and principal. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left to her with was despair. 
We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. <laughs> I don't want to say in all this. What's the spare entertainment in? How oh, is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about the class trial? Stop talking. Well, that's part of the obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What what it means at that this point is we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? Well, what are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikusawa was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active. That means that the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. The body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered. No, it's not possible. Because, because, I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have an end like this, I don't believe it. I refuse to believe Quiet. it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's the responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself. <laughs> anyway, we better begin. But... but if we're going to have to a class trial, then that means the killer... That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, no, that's not pride. Precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Oh, but you just Stop said. Stop talking. I don't have time to explain them. There's a vertebral amount of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm gonna begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That's how this game works, after all. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had a stab a single time with the knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about a stick of metal pipe. The body was covered with other ones, but these were at least several days old. So even on the Kumu file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The identified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. This music is awesome, I love it. That's it. It's a knife that the person was holding. This is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. Whoever the person in the mask that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And the same knife was used to stab that same sa same mask attacker we found there. So maybe the mask person got stabbed because When they attack, I was kind of in a trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing a knife. And then maybe I... I... And if it, this really is Kyoko, I don't mean Kyoko's the one that attacked me. But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No, no. It can't be. There's no way. I had to be silent for Loa because this music is awesome. Alright, we have this over here. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... I feel like I've seen something like this before. Or where? Wait, was it there? I have to double check that later. And we 
got the body. Well, her hand is still not burnt. Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they get in the way of normal activity. What's more interesting is on her palm. Or back of her right hand. No, the palm is. Well, I don't even know how the body works. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make up the whole thing, but. It looks like a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. That's about, that's about it, I guess. I don't think there should be anything strange about it. Well, I guess that's it for the body. I still can't get over this piece of this piece of this thing. Okay. Um. Maybe the uh, sprinklers. Yeah, they couldn't be off. Oh, it's a crime scene, so they're obviously changed. That is true. There were some chickens in the chicken coop. There's one missing. I count four chickens. Huh? Four? Yo! What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Hmm. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right? Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? Then there's only four chickens here right now. We're only we're huh? one short. <laughs> That's so weird. I wonder when they disappeared. Right. I was down here just before midnight last night, and there were definitely five chickens there. What? <laughs> what we're gonna do? Five to four is have is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. They're chickens, dude. <laughs> okay. Oh. How can I ignore your god? Sorry, I was just listening to the music since I missed this song. Jeez, it's been so long since I heard this. Okay. I think that's gonna be it. Next time let's play Dangle Rump with Trigger Happy Havoc. We're gonna investigate more about this mysterious death, alright? I will see you guys then.